Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ritu. We are on day two of Pilates to Savasana challenge. Today is upper body and we do not need any weights for today. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to take a moment to come onto your quadrupeds, your hands and your knees. We're going to just go ahead and warm up here. So slowly start to push your collarbones forward, open up your chest. As you exhale, go ahead and round. Again, inhale, open up. As you exhale, go ahead and round. Couple more, inhale, open up. As you exhale, go ahead and round. This time, come back onto your neutral tabletop. You're going to go ahead and slowly start by taking your right leg all the way back. Press your palms down, engage your core. Go ahead and take your left leg all the way back here on your plank pose. If this feels a little unstable for you, go ahead and take your feet a little bit wider towards the edges of your mat. And then from here, go ahead and slowly start to push your hips up, down dog. Use your core, slowly start to walk your hands all the way back towards the back of your mat, coming on to your forward fold. From here, slowly start to rise all the way up. Head is the very last thing to lift up. Maybe reach your hands all the way high, breathing in. As you exhale, go ahead and fold all the way down. You're going to go ahead and walk your hands forward. We are coming onto our inchworm, making our way all the way to a supine pose. As you exhale, go ahead and walk all the way back again. Slowly rising all the way up. Head is the last thing to lift. We're going to reach our hands all the way high, breathing in. As you exhale, let's go ahead and go all the way down. This time we're going to walk back all the way forward onto our plank pose. And we're going to stay there this time. Take a big breath in and a breath out. Gently drop your left knee down, untuck your left toe. Keep your right leg on the right edge of your yoga mat or your Pilates mat. You're going to go ahead and tap it out for 10. Let's do nine. Keep your core engaged. Eight. Let's do seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Let's do two. Let's do one. Really good. From here, bend your right knee back. You're going to go ahead and take your left toes towards the left edge of your mat. And then from there, as you're ready, again, engage your core belly to spine. Your back is flat. You're going to tap out for a count of 10. Let's do nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's do one. Really good. Go ahead and bring your left knee all the way down. From here, you're going to slowly keep your core engaged. You're going to go ahead and take your right hand all the way back. Really good. Make sure your right palm is facing towards your hips. When you go all the way forward, your right palm is going to face towards the left. Again, push it all the way up. You're going to bring it all the way forward. You're here for 10. Coming back in. Nine. Come back in. Eight. Come back in. Let's do seven. Come back in. We're here for six. Push the earth away. Come back in. We're here for five. Coming back in. Let's do four. Coming back in. Let's do three. Come back in. We're here for two. Back in. Can we do one? Back in. Really good. Go ahead and bring your right hand down. You're going to go ahead and take a moment to slowly take your right leg again to the edge of the mat. You're going to tap it out. Bring it in. Tap it out. Bring it in. You're here for five. Let's do four. We're here for three. Press to your palm. Two. Let's do one. Really good. Go ahead and bring your right knee back. And then from here, you're going to slowly start to take your left hand all the way forward. And then make sure you take your left hand back. Your left palm is facing towards your left glute. You don't have to turn around. I'm just doing it just so I can like show you better uh, view here. And then from here, we're going to go 
forward, keep your core engaged. You go back. We come forward. We go back. Again, forward. We go back. This is seven. We go all the way back. We're here for six. Press through that right palm and go back. We're here for five. And go back. Let's do four. Go back. Can we do three? And back. Let's do two. Go back. One more. We go ahead and go back. Really good. From here, bring your left hand all the way down. Press through your palm, round through your upper back. You're going to take your left leg to the left edge of your mat. Hug your belly in. Push through your palm. You're going to go out for five. Let's do four. We're here for three. Let's do two. Let's do one. Really good. From here, come all the way down onto your tabletop hands and knees. Okay, from your tabletop, all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and keep your right knee down. Go ahead and extend your left leg back. You're going to drop your left heel down. Reach your left hand high. Coming onto a variation of your side plank. Coming all the way down. Again, drop your left knee down. Right leg goes back. Extend it back. Drop your heel down. Reach your right hand up. Really good. Coming all the way down. So just a couple more of we're going to turn towards our left. Come back in. We're going to turn towards our right. Coming back in. Now you can move with the same thing, one knee down and one extended back. Or you can go ahead and separate your feet wider apart, legs straight. You're going to drop your heels to the right. Reach your left hand high. Come all the way down and drop your heels towards the left. Reach your right hand high. We're going to come back to center, heels to the right. Reach your left hand high. Hands down, heels towards the left. Drop your right hand all the way high. One more each. We're going to go towards our right. And then we're going to go all the way towards our left. Really good. We're going to go ahead and come hold the plank pose for three. Let's do two. Let's do one. And then go ahead and drop your knees down. Settle all the way back onto your child's pose. Okay, from your child's pose, slowly start to make your way all the way up onto your tabletop. Really good. Your palms are flat. You're going to go ahead and take your right leg all the way back. Use your core. Lift your right leg up. You're going to lift up. You're going to bend your elbow. Push up again. Lift up. Bend and up. You're here for 10. And bend and up. 9. We come down. We're here for 8. Come down. Let's do 7. Come down. 6. Come down. 5. Come down. 4. Come down. Three, come down. Let's do two, down. Let's do final one, we down. We stay here, lift your back leg a little bit higher, make circle for three. Let's do two, let's do one. We switch around for one. Let's do two, let's do three. Really good. Go ahead and bring your right knee back. Sway your hips from side to side. If you feel like your wrists start hurting, go ahead and lean back, make a fist and roll your wrist up. Take a big breath in. And a breath out. Really good. Whenever you're ready, come back onto your tabletop. Again, quadrupeds, hand on your knee. This time, you're going to go ahead and take your left leg back. Really good. Go ahead and lift up. You're going to bend your elbows, push up. Again, 10 and down, nine, and down, eight, and down, seven, and down, six, down, five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, one, down, stay here, we make circle for three, 
let's do two, let's do one, we switch around for one, let's do two, let's do three. Really good. Bring that left knee down, go ahead and sit up really tall. You're going to go ahead and take your right hand forward. The fingers are down, push it forward. Breathe in. Go ahead and breathe out. One more time. Breath out. You can go ahead and turn your palms towards you. The fingers are still down. Press the back of your hand and then really push it towards you. Pretty good. Shake it up. Doing the same thing on the left side. Left fingers goes down. The palm is facing away from you. Pull it back. Breathe in. Let's breathe out. One more time. Breath out. Really good. From here, go ahead and turn your fingers down. Push the back of your hand. Really stretch it out. Inhale. Let's go ahead and exhale. Ooh, one more time. Inhale. And then exhale. Really good. From here, we're going to do a little bit more of our arms work here. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Go ahead and sit up really, really tall. You can also do the standing, by the way, if you don't want to sit on the floor. So go ahead and sit up really tall. You can go ahead and cross your right shin in front of your left. Okay, so if you don't feel comfortable sitting on your uh, cross-legged, you can go ahead and always just kind of sit on top of your shins. You're going to go ahead and take your hands all the way away. You can just go ahead and make a fist as well. And you're just going to make some circle. And then if you feel like you want to add a weight, this is a really good time to go ahead and do that as well. Really squeeze the shoulder blades in together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Really good. So try to only move your hands, not your shoulders, okay? <laughs> Breathe in. Ah, oh. nice. We're gonna switch direction. Breathe in. Breathe out. Really good. Again, squeeze the shoulder blades in together, opening up several of those. Really good. Twice more. Once more, really good. From here, open up your palm, turn your right palm down, left palm up. We're going to go down, so you're kind of like turning. Whichever hand is down, you're turning the shoulder down. And then whichever hand is up, you're turning the shoulder up. And we're going to go other way. Really good. Breathing in, breathing out. We're here for 10. Let's do nine. We're here for eight. Let's do seven. We're here for six. Let's do five. We're here for four. Can we do three? Let's do two. Let's do one. Really good. Coming back to center, you're going to go ahead and kind of imagine you're holding something in your biceps. So you're going to pull it down and take it up. You're here for 10. Up. Nine. Up, eight, up, seven, up, six, up, five, up, four, up. Really squeeze those elbows in three, up, two, up, one, up. From here, go back and in, back and in. 10, in, 9, in, 8, in, 7, in, 6, in, 5, in, 4, in, 3, in, 2, in, 1, in. From here, bringing in, opening up. Bend and open, in and front, bend and open, 10, open, bend and open, 9, open, bend and open, 8, open, bend and open, 7, squeeze it, really good, let's do 6, 
come out. Let's do five. Coming in. Let's do four. Coming in. Let's do three. And out. We're here for two. And out. Let's do one. And out. From here we go out. And out. Let's do ten. Nine. Eight. <laughs> seven. Breathe in. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Really good. R left ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Really good. From here we go out and down. Up and in. 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 Five. Down. Up and in. Four. Down. Up and in. Three. Down. Up and in. Two. Down. Up and in. Both hands. One. Down. Up and in. Let's do two. Down. Up and in. One more. One. Down. Up and in. From here, slowly take your hands back. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Push your knuckles back. Open up. Let's do a big breath up. One more time. A big breath up. Really good. From here, take a moment to come all the way down on your right side. You're going to go ahead and stack your knees. Now from here, you're going to go ahead and come onto your right forearm. Now, option here is to keep your knee bent. If you would like it, you can straighten it out. But I'm going to do with my bent knee today because my arms are already really sore. You can make a fist. You can open it up as well. You can go ahead and reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. Length and out. Length and out. You can also go down and up. Ten. Let's do nine. We're here for eight. Let's do seven. We're here for six. Let's do five. This time we stay here. Go ahead and take your hand up. You're going to go down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Down. And up. down and up one more time and up lower your hips down go ahead and make your way onto the other side this time left side down right side up left forearm down you're going to go ahead and reach that right hand high lift your hips up you're going to go down again up 10 let's do nine eight seven Six. Let's do five. From here, lift all the way up. Stay here, or you can go ahead and thread the needle. Go down for five. And up. Four. And up. Three. And up. Can we do two? And up. Final one. And up, really good. Lower that left hip down. This time we're going to go ahead and come all the way down onto your belly. Untuck your toes. You're going to go ahead and stack your forearm or stack your palm. Rest your head on top of it. You're just going to lift your head up. You're here for five. Down. Four. Down. Squeeze the shoulder blades in. Three. Down. Let's do two. Down, let's do one, down. Now you want to bring your hands alongside with your head, so you're coming here for a count of 10, down, nine, down, eight, down, seven, down, six, 
down, five, down, four, down, three, down, two, down, one, stay here, go ahead and take your hands all the way back, bring it all the way forward, take it all the way back, bring it all the way forward, you're here for three, fold, two, fold, one, fold, from here bring your hands next to your ribcage, press all the way up, upward dog, breathing in, now as you exhale, push your hips all the way back to your child's pose. One more time, inhale, go forward, breathing in. As you exhale, go all the way back onto your child's pose, settle all the way down there. From your child's pose, go ahead and press your palms down, come all the way onto your tabletop. And then from here, tuck your toes, we're going to make our way onto our downward facing dog, push your hips all the way back and up. Really good. You can go ahead and bring your feet a little bit in, make sure your knees are bent. You're going to either take your hands a little bit outside on the edges of the mat or you can also bring it on the floor. Think about bending your elbows out and dropping your head down. You're here for a count of five, push up through your shoulder. You're here for four, coming up. You're here for three, coming up. Let's do two, up. Can you do one more? And then all the way up. Really good. From here, slowly go ahead and drop all the way down onto your knees. Come all the way up. Sit up really tall. Take a big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. One more breath here. As you exhale, breathe out. From here, we're going to go ahead and come onto our forearm plank. Keep your knees down for a second here. Okay, I want you to use your core, push your upper body down, spread your upper back. Imagine your shoulder blades are flying out. And then from here, you're going to rock forward and then go back. Again, rock forward and back. Squeeze the elbows in, go back. You're here for three, go back. Let's do two, go back. Can you do one? go back. Now if that felt difficult, you're going to continue to repeat that. If that was a little easier for you, you're going to tuck your toes coming onto your forearm plank. We're going to go forward and back. Five, back, four, back, three, back, two, back, one, back. You're going to shift center shift, center, you're here for five, center, four, center, three, center, two, center, one, lower all the way down onto your belly, untuck your toes, you're going to go ahead and take your hands all the way back, we're going to release our forehead all the way down, squeeze your shoulders in together, inhale, lift your head and shoulder and your feet together, as you exhale, come down, you're here for three, down, let's do two, down, can you do one, and down, really good. From here slowly go ahead and press your palms a little bit outside of a yoga mat or you can also tend your fingertips, push your fingertips down, lift your chest up, open up your chest. As you exhale, right shoulder goes down, look to the left, come back in, left shoulder down, look to the right. Come all the way up. One more time, right shoulder down, look left. Come all the way up. Left shoulder down, look to the right. Come all the way up, really good. You're going to go ahead and take a moment to spread your fingers wider apart. Relax your right ear down, look towards the left. Take a big breath in here. Let's go ahead and do a big breath out. From here, you're going to go ahead and bring your left palm next to your left uh, armpit. Go ahead and slowly take a moment here to bend your left knee. You're going to push your left palm down, slowly roll over to the right side. Maybe your left foot is here, maybe it goes down. Just open up your chest, take a big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. One more time, inhale. 
Exhale, let it go. Come all the way back to center. You're going to extend your left hand out to the left side. Go ahead and bend your right palm, right palm next to your right armpit. Bend your right knee. And then slowly roll over to the left. Get that nice little chest opening, shoulder opening. Take a big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. One more time, inhale. Exhale, let it go. Really good. Slowly start to come all the way back onto your belly. Press your palms next to your ribcage. Push all the way up, upward facing dog. Really good. As you exhale, shift back. When you shift back, can you drop your elbows down? Bring your palms to touch. Bring it right behind your head. Really good. Take a big breath in here. Let's do a big breath up. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. Bring your palms all the way down, flat on the earth. Slowly press your way all the way up onto your tabletop. You're going to go ahead and reach your right hand all the way high to the ceiling. Lengthen. And as you exhale, thread the needle. Right hand goes across your body towards the left. You're going to stay here. Take a big breath in. Let's go ahead and breathe out. Twice more. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale. Exhale, breath up. Really good. Press your left palm down slowly. Reach your right hand all the way high to the ceiling. Maybe go ahead and take it back. You can flex your wrist, breathing in. You can bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Nice little neck stretch here. From here, you're going to go ahead and take your left hand high to the ceiling. Inhale, rise up. As you exhale, left hand goes across your body. Thread the needle. Really good. Stay here. Take a big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. Twice more. Inhale. Exhale. Let it go. One more time. Exhale. Let it go. Really good. Push your right palm down. Slowly reach your left hand all the way high to the ceiling. You can take it all the way back. Flex your left wrist. You can bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Nice little neck stretch. Take a big breath in. Let's do a big breath out. From here, slowly release your left hand all the way down. From here, go ahead and settle all the way back. Inhale, reach your hands all the way high to the ceiling, breathing in. As you exhale, go ahead and grab your opposite elbow, bend all the way towards the right. You can go all the way forward, make that semi-circle, come all the way up from your left. Really good. Bending over towards your left a little more. Go all the way forward, round forward, opening the posterior part of your body, coming all the way from your right. Really good. From here, coming all the way up. You're going to go ahead and take your hands all the way back. Push your knuckles back, open up your chest, breathe in. Let's go ahead and breathe up. One more time. And a breath up. Really good. Go ahead and gently release your hands all the way down. Take a moment here to just go ahead and close your eyes. If you want to settle in this posture, that is great. If you want to go ahead and lay down, go ahead and do that as well. We're going to take five breaths together here. So maybe go ahead and close your eyes, whichever posture you're in. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, let's do a big breath up. Again, inhale, breathing in. Melt those shoulders away from you, ears. Three more breaths in. Feel the length of your neck, inhale. As you exhale, breath up. Try one more inhale here. As you exhale, let any of the tension that might be in your upper body just melt away. Really good. Now, if you do desire, you want to stay here a little longer, by all means to do that. I'm going to put a meditation video right up here so you can go ahead and click that and do your meditation. But if you're ready to close your practice, just go ahead and come all the way up. Sit up really tall. Just bring your hands to your heart center. Take a big breath in here. As you exhale, a big breath out. Feel the strength in your upper body today. 
and whether you're doing this practice early in the morning or you're doing this after your work, whatever the case might be, really feel that strength coming from within. Acknowledge the strength and then the space that lies within you and always acknowledge the space and strength to push you forward. May you go in peace. Namaste. Thank you so much for finishing day two. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for day three. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.